Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, then welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So let's just hop right into it. What do I wish I had known when starting Wagobi? So, um, as you guys all know, I did start uh, November 19th. So November 19th until today, which today is Thursday, April the 14th. So it's been some time um, and I've lost 30, 32 pounds. It, I was at a stall for a minute, for a minute, but it's starting to move along now. But in any case, things that I wish I had known at the beginning. First thing, having my prescription delivered. The first time I went to get my prescription, um, first of all, who likes going to the pharmacy anyway? But I was working from home and I was always having to stop and go get it. And then my pharmacist was like, well, you know what? We can actually deliver these to you. And I'm like, oh, okay, that would be like awesome. So I started getting my prescriptions delivered and they were coming around every three and a half weeks. So I always had like a box ready at the go before I even finished my first box or the box that I was working on. So that was really great. Um, I believe that I took some video um, showing just kind of how they package it and things like that so um, if you're working from home or you just can't really get to the store because I know some of you all have kids and life just happens you know just have them delivered to you it was just so easy for me so that was the one thing is that like a I'm, I am the nosy lady in the window because I, I can hear and I need to see what's going on but anyway um the next thing was um, where to take my injection. Um, I took it, I've taken it in my leg, I've taken it in my stomach, um, but I finally settled on my arm. I just just kind of bounced back and forth between each arm every week. I'll put a clip in here as well um, showing you um, how I take my injection. Um, and then also, I had my daughter zoom in a little closer so you can kind of see like the little yellow bar go down. Um, and then you can hear that little click, the two clicks that you need to um, do. So just in case, I just thought that I would videotape that again because the last one I did, I don't think it was very clear. But in any case, I wanted to put that in there. So arms are just, I should have started off like that. Like I said, I started my belly. I don't know, it just worked out better for me. Um, oh my gosh, this is a big one, um, fatigue. I don't think I was prepared for, for the fatigue. So I want to say when I first started doing my research, I did not um, hear a lot of people talk about the fatigue. And the fatigue is real. At first, I'm like, is it just me? Am I being lazy? Am I just tired? Like, no, that is a huge um, side effect. And it was for me. And I know that I've been reading in the comments and a lot of you um, are dealing with that as well. So that's something that I wish I had known in the beginning. And the reason why I say I had wish I had known that in the beginning was that I could have educated myself more on how to combat that. And so what I started doing was one, making sure that I have a lot of uh, electrolytes in my system because that really will combat fatigue. I've been taking like um, this here, which is like antioxidant co-confusion co co fusion water. It's got uh, electrolytes in it. So that has helped with the fatigue and also has helped um, help me stay hydrated so you know your body is able to absorb this better than just regular water so it just kind of helps you balance out things the vitamins that you need in your body um, and then I also started taking vitamin b12 which as a lot of you may know does help with energy so um, did I did it put my energy back a hundred percent where it was no but it's no, I'm not at 100%, but it is so much better. Like, I can do life now. Like, I can do life. Um, because before, it was just... Oh. And as I said, once you start the two weeks, you take your injection, and then you're back at it again. So I've been trying to stay in front of it um, by taking the B12, taking the electrolytes. Um, so that's helped a lot. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. And then the next thing was... Um, 
taking it in the evenings. So the first time I took it, I took it in the middle of the day because I was so excited. And again, this ties in with the fatigue. I had no idea that it was gonna impact me that way. So I wish I had started off by taking it in the evening. Now I take mine on Thursday. So that kind of gives me the weekend. I kind of get myself all ready to go um, and kind of combat that a little bit. So far, um, since I've been steadily on the 2.4, um, my fatigue or my energy has started to level out a little bit better than it was, let's say, three to five, you know, weeks ago. So I'm in a better space. I can do more things around the house. I'm cooking a little bit more now. So that's been like really, really great because, I mean, I even bought a Red Bull. Like I have not had a Red Bull in like 10 years because I just ended the heart racing and the palpitations. I, mean, I don't have time for that. I need to know exactly what's going on with my body at all times. Okay. So I really try not to, um, take Red Bull if I can. Have you seen those people that they'll put it in? You know what? I'm, I'm going that way. Let me bring it back. So um, I bought the Red Bull and I literally took two sips off of it. And I'm like, mm, no, it just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I just started drinking more water and taking my electrolytes and I could just feel my energy, you know, kind of start to kind of come back this way, like back to the land of the living. So the, it just wasn't for me. You know, if you guys are doing it, more power to you. It just, I, mm, 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 I want to pour it down and say it was just money wasted. Um, also, next thing. I wish I had realized or learned to kind of realize how my body loses weight. And when I say that, starving yourself is not it. Now, I don't know. If, I wouldn't say starving yourself. I wouldn't say that's the right phrase to use because that's the whole point of this medication is to make sure that um, it's to decrease your appetite. So you don't want to start starving yourself because that's easy to do because you'll go hours and hours and hours, you know, without eating. But here's the thing. I realized that I still have to maintain my caloric intake to intake um, to a level that will still allow me to lose weight. Because I think in the last video I mentioned like, hey, I'm stalling, like what's going on? And I realized with the 2.4, I was still eating less and less. And I'm like, someone in the comments mentioned maybe you're not eating enough. And I told you guys, I read these comments, you guys be coming through, like coming through. And I really appreciate you guys for doing that. Like if you have not go through the comments, you're going to find something that is going to help you. And it ain't coming from me, just from the community that we have created here. So um, keep a lookout for those comments because they are the truth. And it's the real deal. Like nobody's being paid to say any of this. I'm not being paid to say any of this. This is just like real life experience. Um, so what I was going to say was I started eating more, like eating more food. It wasn't easy because I'm like, okay, let me just try to eat more on my plate. And by golly, wow, the weight started coming off. <laughs> I'm not keeping track of calories or anything, but I just know that I was eating a little bit more food. I mean, that was as much as, um, putting a little bit more on my plate, maybe at dinner, um, adding a granola bar or something like that throughout the day. Um, taking in a protein shake because I had stopped eating or drinking the protein shakes because I just wasn't hungry enough. But just adding little calories in that way, I started to see the scale move like within days. And I'm like, oh, so that was right. My community comes through clutch. I just love you guys for that. So yeah, that's one thing I wish I had known. And I'm just wondering, maybe um, I would have lost a little bit more as I went through. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm losing it in a healthy way. You know, one or two pounds a week is good, you know, which brings me to my next thing. How does my body lose weight? It doesn't lose it fast. And I mentioned that in the last one. It doesn't lose it fast. It's just what what's right for me. Like everybody's body mass is different. Um, body makeup, muscle, all those things are different. So, you know, age, all that's going to impact how fast you lose weight, how you lose weight, things like that. You know, my son, for instance, can just drop weight just like that. I mean, that is so not right. Like, what? You see these guys? Even the guys, like, we've got a couple of guys in our community now. I want to know how fast are you guys losing weight on this? But, you know, again, that goes back to body makeup, man, woman, muscle, all that. So age, all that, it does make a difference. So um, I'm understanding that this is the way that my body is losing weight. I'm like, okay, Sita, this is how your body's losing weight and you need to respect it, not rush it, um, not make it do anything that's, you know, that it doesn't want to do because it is going to fight back. So, and that's what it was doing when I wasn't eating enough calories. It was like, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, we're not moving. We are not moving. Mm -mm. 
mm -mm, we don't like what you're doing here. And so I had to get on board with my body and like, okay, friend, I have to be kind to myself. Let me, let me, you know, bring more nourishment to my body. And it like that. And so it's like, it started to release a little bit more of our extra friends that we've got here. So they wanted to mention that. Um, also, uh, which goes back to the uh, electrolytes and the hydration and things like that. I know that I've mentioned drink water, drink water, drink water, but not only because of um, one, you can get constipated too. It's like great your skin, like, but your kidney functions, as you guys know, um, every three months, your doctor will order um, some, your, uh, your doctor will order some tests just to make sure that your kidneys are functioning optimally, optimally, optim optimally, optimus prime, optimally. Um, optimally is that am i really even doing this that your kidneys are functioning as supposed to so drinking water is going to ensure that you know all the extra toxins in your body is being pushed out and then also having those electrolytes are really good for kidney function as well so that's another thing um the last thing was an exit plan so um you know, I do have a side business, so I've been an entrepreneur for quite a while. And I remember taking the class once and it was like, as soon as you start like the first class, what is your exit strategy? Most people will start a business and have no idea. Do you plan on selling it? Are you going to will it to your children? Like, what's the plan there? And that's something that I don't think that at least I hadn't considered. And um, I know in the comments, it's like, okay, how long do you have to be on this? I'm like, oh, that's that's a good point. And I'm like, I don't plan on being on it for long, but what is my exit plan? So right now my exit, you know, I wish I had thought about that at the very beginning. At the very beginning, it's like learn good, healthy habits. It's, I mean, it's easy. Like, okay, I'm not hungry. So I'm just going to lose weight and I'll just eat what I can because I'll eat what I can because I'm just not hungry. And so that's how I lose the weight. But once you get off this medication, like that's not going to work. You have to have something that can sustain you long term, you know, like creating, you know, being um, mindful and being very strategic um, and purposeful about what we're eating so that when we're not on the medication anymore, like our body remembers, you know, it, it craves the nourishing foods that we're giving it now. Like now we're not hungry so that we can like pick and choose a banana. <laughs> we can pick, pick and choose a banana over, you know, something that we would have chosen before. So um, that's one thing that I have, wish I had thought about at the beginning because then I could have had more time to really, 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 really um, think about, you know, my choices and being, you know, more mindful of developing healthy habits over time. So that is something that I am working on. Um, other than that, um, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. And again, thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you all being here, taking time out of your day um, and being, you know, really active in the comments. You know, uh, if you have not, you know, please subscribe, share this video with someone who you think it may be useful for. Before I forget, vitamins, 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 vitamins. I'm going to put a link to the vitamins. I'll probably put a picture of some here to show you the vitamins that I'm taking. And again, you know, as we get older, even if you're not older, like if you're in your 30s or something, you need to be nourishing your body uh, with the, um, what am I taking? Zinc, magnesium. All these things are great for like muscle function, um, cellular regeneration, um, uh, aids with uh, depression, Someone did um, ask me about that, so I want to make sure that I put a picture here, and then I will um, link what I am getting, because I usually get it either from, mainly from Walgreens or Target, it's usually where I get my vitamins from, so be kind to yourself, take your time, don't rush it, it is going to come off, um, and stay encouraged, and like I always say, we got this. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.